here's the good news. You've just been offered a job, but here's the bad news. You don't want it. You're going to decline the job offer. Maybe you've already been offered a different opportunity that you're more excited about. Perhaps you just don't feel like a good fit with that company and want to wait for something more suitable. Or maybe you were disappointed with their initial offer and know you'll never be able to compromise. Regardless of your specific circumstances, there's one thing that holds true. Declining a job offer can be difficult for both parties. You know you need to be upfront and honest, but you also don't want to burn bridges or tarnish your name and credibility. Fortunately, there's a way you can decline a job offer with your relationships and your reputation intact. I'm Deandra Goodman with FlexJobs, the number one job site to find remote, work from home, and flexible job opportunities since 2007. In this video, we're sharing six tips to decline a job offer with grace, but you can see more detailed examples in the blog post below. Number one, choose the medium that makes you most comfortable. The first thing you need to figure out is how you'll break the news. Different communication methods have their benefits and drawbacks, but this is the golden rule to follow when turning down a job offer. Use the same method they use to extend it. If they called or left a voicemail, then it shows the most professionalism to return their call. But if they sent the offer via email, then it's perfectly okay and sometimes less nerve-wracking to type out a thoughtful message for your rejection. Ultimately, when declining a job offer, it's up to you to consider your unique circumstances and find the method that suits you best. If you're convinced you'll become too panicked on the phone, for example, then a polished email is probably better than stammering through a painful conversation. It's worth noting that if you decide to turn down a job offer through a call, sending an email may be requested so the company has something written on file. Even if that is the case, you'll know that the email is just a formality and that you've done your best to handle the rejection politely and personally with a call. Number two, start with a thank you. When declining a job offer, it can seem a little counterintuitive to begin your message with a sincere thank you especially since you aren't accepting the opportunity. However, it's important to remember that they've invested a lot of time, energy, and resources into the hiring process. There was the initial review of your application materials, phone screenings, and likely numerous rounds of interviews. Once an employer has determined that you're the right candidate for the job, it's likely they assume you'll feel the same way. So keep that in mind when turning down a position and be as appreciative and thankful of their time and effort as you can. That investment is worthy of your gratitude, so make sure you preface your rejection with appreciation. Number three, clearly state your rejection. Weirdly enough, this is a part that's easy to skip when you're focused on being so complimentary and diplomatic. Too much sugarcoating confuses your message and the hiring manager is left wondering exactly what your intention is. When it comes to turning down a job, you need to be explicit about the fact that you're passing on the opportunity. That doesn't mean you need to be harsh or brutal, but you do need to be clear that you aren't accepting the offer. Number four, give a brief, honest reason for turning down the job. You might be tempted to gloss over any sort of reasoning in favor of getting your rejection over as soon as possible, but the employer deserves some sort of explanation about why you're unable to accept the position. And providing an honest reason is usually better than leaving them to make assumptions. That said, be honest, be brief, and be specific, and the people who interviewed you will probably appreciate it. You don't need to dive into all of the details of declining the job offer, but you should be prepared to highlight key points. Whether you've already accepted a different opportunity, decided that the role wasn't quite the right fit, or have decided to stay in your current position. It also helps to mention some of the things that you liked about the company to help soften the blow. Number five, provide a recommendation. You won't always be able to provide a referral after turning down a job. But if you know someone else who's currently job searching and could be a qualified fit for that open role, offer to provide their name and contact information. Maybe that employer won't even need it and will instead go with another candidate. If you do go this route, please be sure that the person you suggest is right for the position as well as interested. The last thing you want to do is suggest someone for the job who will then turn it down as well. Reach out to any potential referrals before making the recommendation and be sure to discuss details with them. Number six, 
express your desire to keep in touch. Finally, cap off your rejection by letting them know how much you enjoy the process and that you'd love to stay connected, assuming you developed some kind of rapport with your interviewer. Send an invitation on LinkedIn so that you can keep in touch in a casual, low pressure environment. In fact, it's smart to do that for anyone you came in contact with during the hiring process. You never know where those connections might lead in the future. If you enjoyed our tips on how to decline a job offer with Grace, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up with more job search advice. If you are looking for more opportunities, FlexJobs can help. Our site is updated daily with the latest remote and flexible schedule jobs without the ads, scams, and junk found on other sites. Consider joining today. FlexJobs, find a better way to work.